Greetings, this is Jesse from Nintendo Dads with another Let's Play of another game that we got for review. So th thanks to uh, the, the developer f for for this code. It's uh, Picto Quest: The Cursed Grids. So you know, last few weeks we talked talked about Picross, Lord of the Nazareth, which I thought was going to be, you know, Picross with a story, but it was more like just a visual novel. You, there was no decisions to be made. It was just reading story. This is a Picross with RPG elements where what you do can make a difference. Like uh, I, I, saw, I looked at the, the trailer. looked like there's some you know, like time battles in the form of the enemies can attack, it will attack you, and you have to beat them before they beat you, things like that. And so I, that's really all I know so far, so let's have a look. Nano Pico is the developer. Once upon a time, there was a place called Victoria. Visitors were rushing from all over the world to admire its beautiful UV paintings. This sounds loud in my head. Let me turn it down a little bit. Hopefully that's better. If anyone's in the chat and tells me the music is too loud or too quiet, let me know. Visitors are rushing from all over the world to admire its beautiful, unique paintings. Alas, on a stormy night, the beloved paintings started to vanish. One could easily guess who was the jealous creature behind this dark spell. Niark, Niark, Niark! What kind of a word is that? Who <laughs> will get the most splendid lair now? It's me, Moonface. Come, little paintings, come to me. Nobody will discuss my perfect taste anymore. I will choose between a male or female protag. I normally pick female when I have a choice, so I'll pick Protect Chan. Alright. Alright, I can't fully explore the map. This is as far as I could move it. I, so I see the first puzzle is a 5x5. Five five. I don't know what the 30 is by the bag yet. And it says 0%. Looks like there's an altar that can approach after I'm done with two puzzles. And... Alright, All right, looks like the controls are similar to the, the Jupiter games. It looks like as I'm fulfilling in the puzzle treasure chest is getting whacked and I opened it to get a coin six of them I do like it when the colorized version of the puzzle peak is also animated that's a nice touch that I do appreciate So the 30x6 is coins, so I'm not sure what that does yet. But let me go into the second puzzle. I saw a bag icon. Let me, let me see. Alright, so I can get items that I can use later, but I don't have any yet. Alright. I got a heart. And six more coins. Alright, so one percent progress after two puzzles, so that's a good sign. You know, at least it's not going to be like fifty puzzles and you're done. Looks like so let's see. 
Alright, that that's a fast travel space to Victoria Village. Which is where I'm at now, so that doesn't help. But at least now I know I can come back here at a later time. Hope I get out of these 5x5 five five soon, please. I've attacked a bunny, apparently. I didn't even look at what I was attacking because I was too busy <laughs> just solving the puzzle. An H for hero, and I got 10 coins. Another 5x5. Five five. Again, I forgot to even look what I'm doing over there. But I got a gem. Uh, apparently I, I, canceled, I canceled through before I even had a chance to see how many coins I got. Alright, well, another 5x5 five five before I can talk to an NPC. Okay, so... As I'm as I'm solving this, I'm doing damage to the creature. If you have if attack, if if the attack fills up, then he hits me. It looks like if if I, if I hit it, then his attack gets interrupted, so I don't take more damage. So the faster I do things. It, the more I last, the more I can last. A for adventure for ten coins. All right, so this is also a puzzle. This is an NPC here. When I grow up, I'll go on an adventure too. I'm training in secret. We have five minutes until my parents get back. Let's race to see who completes the grid the fastest way. Win before time's up. So. Uh, Well, they told me it was the heart, and I've already solved the heart, so I can solve it again. I didn't... Okay, I saw on the left side that I had, what the time limit was. I had 10 seconds left. I didn't see what it was when it started. You guys are even faster than me. Since you've won, here's a reward. 10G. Still in the 5 by 5s attacking a carrot thing. Oh, there's two enemies here, so I can hit R to rotate. Looks like they will both at attempt attacking me. And I do like the ability of warping f up the top down to the bottom. In the Jupiter games, I normally have to turn that on because they don't do it by default. This one has. I haven't seen options yet. Let me see if there are all options somewhere. Didn't, uh, no options. Figure push plus does nothing. Minus does nothing. All right. There's a shop after after I solve this next puzzle. Star. Okay, now I have a hundred coins to see what I can do with them. A no brainer, this small life potion will be, be pretty useful. So, okay, a potion for 30, bigger potion for 60. Something to calm down the worst creatures. They will be frozen for a moment for 80. Not enough money. So it looks like a fire spell, an electric spell. And maximum life up for a thousand. I think I'll save my money for now.
an F for fantasy. <laughs> Only six points for that one. I don't know what the difference is between getting six and getting ten, but apparently there is. Okay, there is a boss. Another five by five. A twinkle. Didn't realize that was a noun. Apparently it is now. <laughs> Lazy Royal Guard. Should the Guard Chief find out I was taking a nap while Moonface was stealing the Pictoria grids, he'll be pretty mad at me. Hey, young people, where do you think you're going like that? To what happened, only the qualified people are allowed here. So I solved the moon puzzle again. In the time limit, you can see what I have 20 seconds. Now I did it in eight. Hi, Seth, you're back. <laughs> mm. Wow, pretty good. All right, stop by the orc shop. A small reward awaits you. I get out of here. They're probably going to be able to, be able to take my nap again. All right, going back to the shop. Are they going to give me something? Something free. This is a reward for yours for completing a mission. So I have a potion now. So I could have bought one for 30, but now I have one for free. So good thing I didn't buy one. <laughs> haven't needed it yet. All right. This is a boss level. Still a 5x5. Five five. Bat Treen. Where do you think you're going? Where's that strange voice coming from? There's no way I'm letting you get one more grid. Get ready to be changed into kindling. Rumor says that some big monsters can attack the grid directly using strange chaotic powers. What does that mean? Well, you didn't get a chance to attack at all, so. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what is that? But it's a horse, because I, I, it was in the void and not in the puzzle. Play more Dr. Mario? No, I, I literally haven't played that since I played Builders. And I got to a level where I did not look fun, so I stopped. That was 170. Uh, okay, now I'm past the first boss. I'm with the 10 by 10s. It says 10%, so how many levels was that? Level 12? So if there is 120, that still maybe seems a little small, but we'll see what, where, what happens. Okay, so this will take a little bit longer to solve, but not too much longer. Eights will fill the row. Oh, something with a fire icon. I don't know. What. Oh, it gave me an item for fin finishing that row. That's cool. Ah, so if there is a time limit on getting those items. What was that? 
and an apple. Yum, yum, yum. Did I get no coins? Or did I just push it faster? Mm. Orb of fire. Spreads two incandescent walls, temporarily revealing the squares to be marked. Okay, that probably could be useful in the later game. Fours, six. Bow and arrow. Oh, crossbow. Okay. Kind of hard to tell on a 10 by 10 icon, but sure. We'll go with that. Can't do that one yet. Okay, let me go to these. Candlestick, I guess. Yeah, it looks a little. It looks a lot better animated. Yeah, I'm getting more coins per level now. Now well, I got a fast travel. I can go to one of two points. So three, four, five, six. Seven. There are ten areas apparently. And if they each have 12 puzzles, then it's 120, so that makes sense. Is <laughs> a chest. 19 coins. I, I wonder what the diff if if it's time ba based on time or just just a weird number per level. I don't know. Okay, another five by five puzzle with an NPC. Horrible spider monsters have appeared and eaten them. Could you help me scare them away? Solve the twinkle. Condition increase levels difficulty. So is it giving me the same puzzle with a different set of numbers? Or I don't know what makes it more difficult.
I think the numbers look the same. Go see the orc in his shop. He's more into birds. Between collectors, we understand each other. He'll have a reward for you. Alright, so there's a shop two puzzles away, so I'll just solve them first and then I'll hit it. No. Uh, drumstick? Chicken leg, yeah. For six? Again, seemingly random coins. So I haven't even been looking at them, but there's two enemies attack me now. Oh, I must have hit the wrong button, and that's why I got attacked. So I, I guess there's there, that's your penalty for making a mistake. I guess I make mistakes so infrequently I never even looked to see what happens. Which I think that's fair. For this type of game, that makes sense. In most games, I normally set it to don't tell me if I make a mistake. And I'll just figure it out on my own when I do, and I normally will just reset the puzzle and start over. But I understand in this type of thing why they wouldn't want to do it that way. Alright, let's see what I get for the shop. Alright, same things for sale. Same prices. I can afford everything now except for the upgrade. I can sell items I don't want. I won't sell anything until I have it full. But it looks like I can get another potion.
All right. So now I'm full. I can't get any new items. Five, six, five. Crown. I thought it was the castle at first, but until they colored it. I pushed B on that, so I've, I've noticed that I have that problem with the Joy-Con sometimes, where it will, if I push switch buttons fast, sometimes it won't, it'll still register the old button. So it doesn't penalize me for putting an X wrong, it only penalizes me if I put a box when I shouldn't. be more careful when I I did it again I pushed B <laughs> now I'm getting careless at least that one was for an item not, not fighting a monster so there was ultimately no penalty Is this Link? I think I'm talking to Link. I don't talk to amateurs. Don't make any mistake. Solve the crossbow. I don't know what that means. Like, it was an item, but it was a joke item? I don't know. No coins. You are very promising. I would accompany you to monitor your progress, but right now my place is here. The soldiers of Victoria are in such are such an incompetent bunch, someone has to make sure no more disasters happen. I have nothing to give you, but my consideration is worth all the treasures in the world. Is it really, though? Is it really? I pushed B.
All right, so because when I do damage, I need, need to start flipping. So I do damage to more things. does like distract me a little bit I'm not used to watching more than one thing at a time when I'm doing these puzzles Billy. Hey, you're stepping on me. What's wrong with you guys? The ground has spoken. Oh, I recognize you. Master Moonface warned us to be suspicious of you. And you're right to watch out. We will recover all the grids you stole from our village. Now I'm in the Whispering Forest. More ten by tens. Liar. Third checkpoint.
my potion. A, f a file. A file of potion, apparently. Alright, what is this NPC? Spirit of Woods. Help, help, the buddies want to nibble on me. Well, you do look tasty. They don't understand. They're usually so gentle. What's happened to them? Crown with increased difficulty. I still don't understand what makes it difficult. Unless just the enemies attack harder, faster. Now, see, I did not... Oh, I did push. Okay, I did push A that time. I was... Difficulty basically puts a little bit of a more of a time limit on you. You, know, you can you can choose to ignore the attacking and just let the time fight with the time limit, or deal with the with the monsters and rotate them out. I'm getting another free item at the shop. Yeah. That's warp back and check the shop out. So I don't want to use this to this. Let's sell an item. And I don't want to pick up the free item yet I don't need. That way I have an open slot to pick up a new item. And the free item is still available to me so I can pick it up later if I need it. A mouse? Or a rat? That one I didn't mean to push, so I'm lucky that was right, otherwise I would have gotten penalized.
See what happens if I use an item. This freezes an enemy, but uh, this temporarily revealing the scores being marked. Let's use one and see what it looks like. Oh, I gotta choose. Okay, so yeah, very temporary. It's Raven or a crow? Raven! He looks in at you. I don't know what that is. Well, that's the ring. Still off one of those. shield. So after the third boss I'll probably uh, go ahead and stop the stream, give myself a break before I've got, we have, basically we're recording two shows tonight, a regular episode and then a special Fire Emblem discussion. Didn't even notice that that was a 6 3. I know I didn't make that mistake, but that wasn't a mistake, that was just time. Time penalty. Let's 
skull. A cursed skull. Those are different. What do you want? Lumberjack. Are you okay? The forest has gone completely insane. The last trio I was cutting down tried to take my axe from my hands. Can you believe it? Now it's the rocks starting to move. Look up behind you. Solve the frog before time runs out. And I have two minutes. Should not be a problem. stuff from my board. That's rude. Alright, he's only removing the X's. He doesn't remove the actual squares. So that's good. longer than I thought it would. I didn't think it would take most of the time. <laughs> Still had 15 seconds left, so... How am I liking the game? I'm liking the game. You know, it's, it's Picross. I like Picross. You know, the problems I'm having seem to be my Joy-Con related, not the game related. But, it, um, you know, I was hoping for a little more challenge. Maybe it'll get more challenging later on. But, you know, still, you know, I'm liking, I'm liking this so far. And then still relatively on the short side if I've already played through almost a third of the game in less than an hour. So, <laughs> oh, I'm going the wrong way. So, so I will eventually get to the thousand coin gold coins to buy the extra life, but uh, and I'll be in the sixth sixth zone before I get that far. So it's supposed to be a slime. Yep. All right, now the numbers are getting a little smaller, making it harder to find opening moves.
sword. Again, I'm so focused on this the puzzle, I'm not looking at the big picture until the very end, so you know, I normally don't see what the puzzle is until it's done when I get a chance to actually step back and look at everything. Alright, third boss. After this, then I'll wrap things up. Get away from me, children. Please leave. Please? What a polite monster. I was a noble guard of the kingdom, but a vile moon, the, the vile moonface casted a spell on me, Ribbit. Get out of here, guys. I no longer control my movements. Can we help you? What do we have to do? Moonface. There's nothing you can do, warrior. I order you to attack these kids with all your strength. Cat? Oh, a winged boot. Again, hard to tell what these are with only a 10 by 10 icon. That brings me into the fourth area. So, 30% done. So, Looks like it's probably a little bit more than 120 puzzles, otherwise I'd be at 33%. So, you know, I'll probably ha I'll definitely have this finished by next week. I'll talk about it in the show more. I'll talk about it a little bit tonight, and I'll talk about it next week as I wrap it up. I'm liking it so far. So if you like pick cross puzzles, you'll like this. Again, it seems to be a little on the short side. In comparison, Lord of Nazarick, I'm on the last clip Cross, which is 50 parts. I've got 10 or 12 of them done. So I've done all of the other puzzles and I'm 30 hours in. Of course, there was this was over 450 puzzles I had, I had finished in that time. And this little more than an hour to get a third of the way done. So this is less than a five hour game. Does it make it worth $10? I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll find out at the end to see if there's any bonus content. If this was cheaper, I'd probably make... Because this versus Lord of Nazarick, if you're just looking for number of puzzles, Lord of Nazarick is the better value. Because I think they're almost they're the same price, if not a few dollars more. And then you get 500 puzzles versus only 120-ish. Anyway, I'm still liking this. So again, if you like Picross, you know, get them both. You're not going to go wrong. Plenty of content. Yeah, I'll talk about this more tonight. think I have nothing else to say. So thanks for watching and keep listening to Nintendo Dads.